Ah, welcome back to the channel. Couple of gifts for you guys here as always to all the returnees and new subscriber. Thank you everyone. Let's just get right into this gist, okay? Hmm, a lot of stuffs happened over the weekend and I'm just going to be touching them one after the other for y'all. Also sit back, relax and let's get right into it. Let's start with the Banky WGs that was trending literally all over the weekend. Still trending, you could say so. So apparently, a blogger called Gislova, who is obviously faceless. Nobody knows who Gislova is. It's just typically like a ghost. <laughs> but it's not a ghost because obviously it, it types and posts on Instagram. So yeah, you have it there. So Gislova came outside and he made a post about banky w now why am i even saying banky w because when gislova made this post he did not mention any name according to gislova there's this guy who you know was dating this lady he didn't work he started dating this other lady but according to him the lady you know is not the kind of person he wants to marry or settle or spend the rest of his life with so he left that lady now all these things that gislova was saying he didn't mention any name it was just a post he made now he left that lady and then married a very sweet lady and whatnot and you know this person is a singer and all that so he posted there putting two and two together to imagine who is this person that Gislova is actually talking about and then they said the person in question that finally went back to the lady that he didn't marry and you know he has been dating the lady on and off like the lady is situated in the united states of america while you know the other wife is here in nigeria so according to gis lover um this lady in america is pregnant this lady in america is pregnant and she's saying she's not going to terminate the pregnancy <laughs> come and see the old place bossing people are saying i don't want to believe it's banky i can't be banky banky can't do such i don't want to believe this me, I don't know if I believe it or not. And I cannot say it's not a true or is a lie. Why? Because men can be funny. Yes. Even pastors will see what they've done. So, I mean, like, even y'all is there to use as a case study with the kind of thing that y'all did to his wife after 18 years. Come on now. I mean, like, um, if you are carrying a man on your head, you mean just let them be where they are. If you're carrying a man on your head <laughs> at this time in this life, <laughs> Don't go and break your head for nothing or break your heart for nothing. All right? You just do the part you can do and leave the rest for God. And you hope that the man would respect you and love you and cherish you enough not to, you know, make you feel disrespected. Because when a man leaves you and goes out to impregnate another woman, it means he is making you feel disrespected. Which is what, you know, some of these men have done. Anyway... We don't know if it's true, if Banke actually did anything. But we know Banke is married to Adesua. And we know there's a lady called Niyola. That is a lady that has been accused of, you know, having something to do with Banke. It was being said on the street that Niyola came outside and said it's not true. I didn't see any post like that. This is just hearsay. But um, Banke and Adesua, they've been catching crews with this whole thing. Because Adesua, they, that was when they decided to post, you know, um advert for a diaper on her page and she wrote something like um a management uh good or something i don't know i can't remember the name right now and then you know she left a comment you know and then banky came to the comment section and she replied the comment in that video so you can see that they are just catching crews literally with the whole thing <laughs> And then Banky was posting that people should go to church. And people even went to dig out a whole video when Banky was, you know, preaching or something. And, you know, talking about, according to what we later heard, Banky wasn't even talking about, you know, what people thought he was talking about. He was talking about porn. That he had an addiction to porn. <laughs> anyway, the kind of things people review. Anyway, but you're trying to encourage people. So, yeah, you have to review certain things, right? Anyway, so he was saying he had an addiction to porn. And, you know, his wife has helped him. But people took out that clip and they turned it to something else. Obviously, nobody only reactors, they turn something to something else. Not like I've seen any that have turned anything. For people who come and say, mm -hmm, I said it. Anyway, that being said, that's just the rundown. And so far, you know, they seem cool about the old 
thing and they're not giving a flipping two cents. So who am I to carry the whole thing on my head? Now, guys, let's move on to Nika Umogo replied reactors. <laughs> So that's how Nika Wongo was doing a video and you know in that video she was just doing a tango asking the questions and whatnot and at the point somebody asked her a question that is it true she and Ogum um what the reactors are saying about them and I don't know why they're saying these reactors that are just saying it because I mean yes we noticed something we spoke but some of you people that are watching are also thinking of it that ah, we're not saying these two people together anymore what was actually going on here do you, do you understand but y'all are putting it all on the head of the reactors. Y'all shouldn't do that. You get me? Anyway, so Nika replied. I think I have the clip. Let's put a reply here for you guys to see. You had any misunderstanding with Ogum series as reactors? Say? I don't know. You guys trust the reactors that are saying all those things they're saying. I think they will, they, they will explain better. Yes, there you go. So my people, let's talk about Abby and family. Abby and family. So apparently, Abby did a video. And you know, it, it's just tiring when people are saying, um, you know, people come and attack reactors. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You get, it doesn't make any sense. But anyway, let's just get into what Abby said. She made a video. And I would want you guys input on this too. Because, you know, I feel like, you know, I have grown women that are watching me also. And they are some amazing young ladies that are knowledgeable so you can just leave your thoughts about this story you know because i feel like i really don't know what answer to give you know but let's just get right into it according to abby there's this lady who reached out to her to say that oh um my husband you know impregnated another lady after 12 years and i have four children for him and i don't know what to do I don't know how to confront him. We stay in the same city. He doesn't go out much, except that he goes traveling once in a while for job and all that. And when she mentioned that the man travels for job, I mean, I'm like, uh -uh. if the man travels for job, that is a good avenue for him to do whatever he wants to do. Because if he, if he tells you he's traveling out of the city, he might travel for just two days and he will tell you he's out for a week and he will come back and he will be at the other lady's place. So that's a very good avenue for... For him to do whatever he wants. According to her, she had a man finally impregnated another lady and she, he didn't tell her. She found out when she picked up his work phone. Because she, according to them, he has two phones and, you know, she doesn't pick up his phone. So when she picked up his work phone, she has access to the normal phone he uses. But the work phone, she doesn't really, really touch it because, I mean, it's work phone. So when she picked up the work phone, she saw WhatsApp, which she was curious. That, and who are you chatting with on WhatsApp on your work phone, according to what Abby said? And, you know, she, that was how she found out. I mean, this, before I even get what, into what I want to say, Abby, if you want to do your video, please just go ahead and just do it. I mean, stop saying, oh, because Abby was giving instance that something like that had happened to her. And then she started saying her husband has never ever cheated on her. Abby, I mean, like, you people like to contradict stuff, contradict yourself on this street. Just, she was trying to clarify that it's not her husband that made the thing happen to her. Maybe it's a guy she dated in the past. You know, I don't know. But she started saying, eh. If I post that, come and say something, it's not me. If I see the clip, I'll put it. If I don't see it, we move. But it's not me. Come on, you guys. If you want to say something, just say your thing and move on. I mean, you guys truly, 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 truly care about what... Anyway, I, what, what am I to say? You guys shouldn't care. But I mean, just know that people will talk. Even me that I'm talking about you guys, they're going to talk about me and it's life. Because, I mean, you can't talk about people and expect people won't talk about you. People have things to say. People have opinions about you. And so long you put your life on internet, on the social medium, I mean, you get ready to get talked about. Anyway, what do you guys think about our story? Do you guys think it's real? Some people are saying that story is not real. Probably Abby just formulated the story <laughs> to sell our brand. But I mean, these things happen, especially with the Banky W, you know, you know, whatever that is going on right now. It just got me thinking that, I mean, come on, men, can't you guys keep it in your pants? What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Can't you keep it in the pants? Hmm? Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about that. I don't know what's wrong with people, really. Nigga, you know, people were asking her questions. Someone was asking her, um, 
why was she staying with her in-laws if she chose to stay? I mean, there are some questions that are just better left to keep to yourself. But I mean, sometimes when you say, ask me questions, you can just ask, right? Right? But I mean, sometimes you just think and you move on and allow the person to come and tell you. But curiosity will not allow some of us to be. We just want to know everything. We just want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Right. <laughs> so the person was asking her, why was she staying with her in-law? And in my mind, like, don't do that. But she said it doesn't matter. So she answered that she enjoys staying with her in-laws. And, you know, even though there was a point, the mother-in-law told her, if you don't want to do this, but she was like, she's okay with it. It gives her time. I put her around to always, you know, the house is busy. She likes it. And I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think Nika really enjoys staying with her in-law? Me, I don't think anything about it. Because I never thought why she was staying with her in-law. So long, they are comfortable. It's a big house. She has a space, you know. the Like everybody's doing their thing, you know, at the end of the day. It's a big house. So, <laughs> last, last, how many house, how many rooms can we actually occupy you know so i don't think there's anything to each other but since we asked her the question me i wanted to ask you guys what you think about this thing you understand like <laughs> yeah yeah so ned ned Unwoko finally came out to say hmm, he wants to thank god though that uh, this thing that uh, this bologna has then went for that is god has saved him or that he would have gone for it or he was invited for it according to how he said and he now even gave us proof to show that the man is his friend. He said he lost a friend. Ah. When I heard that they invited him, I say, ha, ah, thank God for you. Thank God for you, sir. That, you know, you're here and, you know, you didn't go. And you guys know that there was a prophecy that actually came out about this man a while back. Mm. That uh, Ned should be careful. They should pray. Oh. So I think they prayed that they did not pray. But ah, we thank God for Ned. Go, Ned, that Regina is not crying. After all, the man is still a very young and elder man. To Regina, even if to the people of the world, people are saying he's old, but he has given Regina two children. So now I know you ain't old. <laughs> anyway, my people, so that is all we heard. Those that are saying my reaction is about eight, I hope. Well, I really don't care at the end of the day because my reaction is not eight. I don't hate anybody. We don't have to agree on everything. I have my opinions, you have your opinions. And if you feel like my opinion is hateful, that is okay to you. And you can as well come on YouTube and give your own opinion also. And let's see how you judge it. Just the way Lily Pope came outside to say editorial did not do anything wrong, you know. And any sane person we know that the insults that were thrown there, they were wrong. But we'll come back on more gist tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.